I'm finding more and more often these days that conversations with others in our Brony D&D group can spark ideas for videos. One such discussion with Aramau the Fiery Secretary brought up a rather intriguing question. Is there more to the element of laughter than just laughter? I remember during Magical Mystery Cure that Celestia had come up with alternate descriptions for each of the elements in turn. And for Pinky, it was optimism, which is a very admirable aspect for friendship. Plus, if you look at some nebula, you could also say that Pinky represents hope. I suppose if you look at one of her earliest episodes, Griffin the Brush Off, you could say that Pinky was struggling to be optimistic about the situation between Rainbow Dash and Gilda. And certainly when Gilda started stealing food and, heaven forbid, making Fluttershy cry a lot of characters would have felt completely justified tearing Gilda down and showing her true colors to Rainbow at the first opportunity. Instead, Pinky tries a very different approach, believing that if she could just get Gilda to smile and enjoy the things that Rainbow and Pinky do, like their pranking, then everybody could benefit. And yes, that is the more optimistic approach to a difficult situation. There's a difference between laughter and optimism, though. Laughter is just a general action that could be ascribed to joy, humor, or optimism, yes. Optimism is actually closer to hope than laughter, at least to me. Pinky is the only one who is the element of a direct action, whereas the others are concepts. Even magic is a broad concept in the world of Equestria, which makes laughter seem a little out of place? If the writers had meant for it to be optimism, then Pinky's character would possibly be a little different and not so deliberately fatalistic in certain episodes, even if it is just for laughs. Her song in Bridal Gossip was just plain hurtful even if she thought it was funny, and there was nothing optimistic about her view of Zakora. When their cutie marks were switched in Magical Mystery Cure, Fluttershy's role was only to entertain, not look at a situation positively. In both Party of One and Pinky Pride, when she was supposed to be her happiest and most optimistic, she instead doubted both herself and her friends. Pinky Pride especially, since that was when she got Boneless the Chicken, which turned into her key, and that should have exemplified the trait of optimism more if that was the case. In fact, the only episode I can think of where the entire plot revolved around her being optimistic was, well, the one where the comparison between her and Somnambula is made. Daring done. And even then it felt... forced. She just dove into the green pit head first when her friend was in very real mortal danger? Because... hope? If Pinky were the element of joy or the element of humor, I could easily see that. She brings joy to others, clearly, and she has that sense of humor, that attitude about life that keeps her positive. However, Pinky doesn't scream optimism. It is there on occasion, but it's far from her priority. She just wants others to smile. Even her Pinky sense isn't about looking on the bright side of things, so that doesn't point to optimism either. Generosity can have so many facets. Sacrifice, hospitality, and the fatal flaw of giving too much of oneself. Honesty can have so many facets. Dependability, grace, and the fatal flaw of oversharing leading to cruel bluntness. Kindness has so many facets. Compassion, mercy, and the fatal flaw of being overly trusting. The same could be applied to joy or humor both key elements in the majority of real-life friendships, as I'm sure many of us can attest to. Laughter, on the other hand, is the result of any of those. A generous gift, an honest comment said at a funny time, a kind act. All of that can make your friend's face light up in laughter. I guess the argument of maybe children wouldn't get it otherwise must come into play when discussing this since this is a show directed at children and the elements were introduced in the first two episodes. But perhaps we should question, how hard would it have been for a parent to explain the concept of joy to a child? Joy is just a simpler way of saying happiness. 
and an element of happiness would be easy for a child to understand. In many ways, children understand happiness better than we adults do. Still, going back to one of Pinky's earliest examples of optimism, Griffin the Brush-Off, you could see an even greater example in the follow-up, The Lost Treasure of Griffinstone. When both Gilda and Rainbow believed that their friendship had nothing left to save, it was Pinky who helped bring a little bit of hope back. Even if laughter is by far her most recognizable element, I think I do appreciate those episodes of optimism a bit more. But then, what do you think? Is there more to the element of laughter than just laughter? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, because as always, I am Dr. Wolf, who is most grateful to Miss Aramal for the interesting topic and debate partner, and we look forward to hearing from you.